Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to solve some previous year questions on symbol table. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. If we consider the outcome of today's session, first we will solve a gate 2021 question on symbol table, followed by an ISRO 2016 question on symbol table. Consider the first question, it came in gate 2021. In the context of compilers, which of the following is or are not an intermediate representation of the source program? And we are given these four options. So we are supposed to determine which one of these four is not an intermediate representation of the source program. Now intermediate code in reality can be of two different forms, the linear form and the tree form. The three address code which we have briefly observed in the session different phases of compiler falls into the category of linear form. Now abstract syntax tree is an intermediate code form which falls into the tree form category. The question here is asking us to find out the one which is not an intermediate representation of the source program. Hence, we are not to choose these two. Coming to option C, we know symbol table is a data structure which stores information about various entities of the source code. So clearly it is not an intermediate representation. But before selecting C as our option, let's take a look at the last option as well. Now control flow graph or CFG is a representation using graph notations of all the paths that might be traversed through a program during its execution. Moreover, Control flow graphs is a topic pertaining to the subject software engineering. And the question here clearly states we are to judge the options in the context of compilers. Since the options A, B and D are now eliminated, option C is undoubtedly the correct one. Now let's move on to the next question. Consider this question. It came in ISRO 2016 paper. Access time of the symbol table will be logarithmic if it is implemented by option A, linear list, option B, search tree, option C, hash table or none of these. Now let's find out the answer to this question. Now access time is also known as the lookup time. Let's analyze the various implementations of the symbol table. In option A, we have linear lists. Linear lists can be classified into two categories, ordered lists and unordered lists. Now in case of ordered ones, the lists are always organized either in ascending or descending order. And these can be implemented in two ways. The first one is the arrays. In case of arrays, the insertion time is order of n. Now why is so? Think about it. Before insertion, we actually need to find out the appropriate position of the data to be inserted in the list. Now since it is ordered, we can perform binary search which takes order of log n time to find out the position. Thereafter, we will have to shift the elements towards the right in order to make space for the new element, which may take order of n time. Finally, the element can be inserted in the list in constant time. Therefore, the time taken for insertion would be order of log n plus n plus constant time. And since n is the leading term in here, therefore the insertion time would be order of n. Now as we can perform binary search on the ordered lists which are implemented using arrays, therefore the lookup time would be order of log n. Now ordered lists can also be implemented using linked lists. However, since linked lists are not contiguous in nature, both for insertion and for lookup, it will take order of n time. Now coming to unordered lists, because the order doesn't matter in here, we can insert the data item anywhere. Therefore, the insertion will be done in constant time. However, for lookup, we will have to perform linear search which will access all the elements until we find out the intended one. So it may take order of n time. Now coming to the disadvantages of this implementation, 
In case of ordered list, every insertion operation will be preceded by the lookup operation. So that's an overhead. Also, the lookup time is directly proportional to the table size. That is, the bigger the table, the more the access time. Now option B is search tree. For M array tree, that is, the trees with M number of children, both the insertion and the lookup would take log N base M time. Think about a binary tree. For a binary tree, the number of children is 2. And for that, the lookup time for inserting the element would be log N base 2. Same method will be applied for search tree with M number of children. However, the problem with that is, the tree should be always kept balanced. This becomes tedious for left or right skewed trees. Now hash table is a data structure which stores data in an associative manner. Here, each data has its own index value which is calculated using a hash function. Due to this unique index value, the time required to specify the appropriate location within the data structure and to insert the data in that place is constant. Hence, both the insertion and the lookup times are order of 1. Now in case of too many collisions, the time complexity increases to order of n. Now collisions happen when more than one data items are assigned to the same index. In that situation, the hash table resolves it using a linked list. The head pointer of that list is kept in that index and the successive nodes include the data items which were assigned to that particular index. Therefore, in order to traverse the linked list, in worst case, the time taken would be order of n. Now for linear lists, we have three different lookup times and for hash tables, the lookup or access time is order of 1. Only for the search tree, the access time is logarithmic. Therefore, option B is the correct choice. So in today's session, we first solved the GATE 2021 question on symbol table and then we solved the ISRO 2016 question on symbol table. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will be introduced to the lexical analyzer. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.